Hi there, I'm Graham Lewis and in this short video we're going to discuss what 2 to the power of negative 4 means and what 2 to the power 0 means. We're going to start by considering um, what 2 to the power 4 is. 2 to the power 4 means 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So of course that's 16. And then 2 cubed is 8. 2 squared is 4 and 2 to the power 1 is 2. Now if you think about it, obviously what's happening is every time you start with 1 power and you go 1 way, you're multiplying by 2. 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So that's kind of the traditional way of thinking about um, powers of 2, that they're doubling each time as you go from 1 to 2 to 3 to 4. So as this number here is increasing, every time it increases by 1, the answer doubles. But what if we go backwards? What if we consider going top to bottom? As this number decreases by 1, this actually divides by 2. As this decreases by 1, from 3 to 2, this divides by 2. As this decreases by 1, this divides by 2. And that's how we're going to get at what 2 to the power 0 is. So let's decrease the 1 by 1, and we'll follow the pattern. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And we can keep going. Let's decrease the 0 by 1 again. So 2 to the power minus 1, and we divide by 2. 1 divided by 2 is a half. Let's decrease the power again by 1. Let's go 1 smaller, minus 2, and we have to find a half of a half. If you remember, a half of a half is a quarter. Just imagine you've got half a pizza, and then you half that half pizza, you've got a quarter of the whole pizza. So we've got a quarter, and then if we decrease it again, 2 to the power minus 3, we've got 1 over 8, because we're halving the quarter there. So there's one way to think about it in terms of um, going down. Now notice that 2 to the power 0 is 1, because now I want to consider the 3 to the power. Let's do the same thing. As the 4 decreases to 3, we divide by 3. As the 3 decreases to the 2, we divide by 3. As the 2 decreases to the 1, we divide by 3. Notice again that 3 to the power 0, something to the power 0, is 3 divided by 3, which is 1. So remember that 2 to the power 0 is also 1. In fact, you'll find that anything to the power 0 is always 1, as long as we don't have a 0, because 0 to the power 0 is actually undefined. So just remember that. But anything to the power 0 is 1 as long as a is not equal to 0. For this reason, you can think about it. And we can go to negative powers as well. Let's take one off here. So 3 to the power negative 1, I divide by 3. 3 to the power negative 2, I divide by another 3. A third of a third is a ninth. And 3 to the power minus 3, divide by 3, a 27th. And you can see the pattern very clearly, I hope. If you compare 3 to the power minus 3 with 3 to the power 3, you can see that 3 to the power 3 is 27, and 3 to the power minus 3 is 1 over 27. In other words, 3 to the power minus 3 is just the reciprocal of 3 to the power 3. If you don't know what the word reciprocal means, don't worry, it just means 1 divided by it. So in other words, 3 to the power minus 3 is the reciprocal 1 divided by 3 to the power 3, which is 1 over 27. So when you have a negative power, here, a negative exponent or index, depending what country you're listening from, then it's the reciprocal of the positive exponent. So here's the positive exponent or index. Okay, So that's how to deal with uh, power, negative indices and negative powers. Okay, so this is really useful for scientific notation, because in scientific notation we have things like um, really small numbers, like 0 0.00003, for example, and we write that as 3 times 10 to the power, where if I move the decimal point, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 3 to the power minus 5. And of course, it's thinking about that times by 10 to the minus 5. What we've really done, of course, is divided by 10 5 times. And dividing by 10 5 times is the same as timesing by 1 over 10 5 times. And as I've just shown, 1 over 10 to the power 5 is the same as times it by 10 to the minus 5. So understanding negative powers helps you understand 
why it's a negative power in scientific notation. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please check out some of my other videos. Perhaps you'd like to watch the one on scientific notation, which might help you understand that better. Thank you.